The Long Beach Grand Prix has quite the standing history dating back to 1977. Wow, that's old tech, huh? And since then, it's evolved into what they're calling a 200 mile per hour beach party. 200 mile per hour beach party? F1 and Indy cars travel well about 200 miles per hour with world records in races being 223 miles per hour and 236 miles per hour, respectively. This year's event has six different races. Did, did you say six and- And starting off on Friday, you'll see them all in action. Kicking off the event with the Porsche Carrera practice race in the morning. You know, I was thinking about buying a Porsche. The IMSA practice race, the historic F1 practice race. Good boy. Is there more? The stadium super truck practice, NTT India car series, and the super drift challenge at 6.30 PM. That's a big list. We can't handle all these cars. You'll notice that Friday is mainly the practice sessions with the exception of the super drift at the end of the day. When these cars practice, what they're really doing is allowing the driver to learn the circuit, ranging from testing new parts they've installed or the car's wings and suspension setting. What about gasoline? That's a good idea. They can go back and make these tiny changes to finely tune their masterpiece for the race. They could even take this time to allow their test drivers some practice. But the day isn't all just racing. You'll have vendors everywhere. Now remember, this is our first time going to an event like this. So subscribe to our channel to see the day-by-day -day shorts on what's going on. Or you can follow us on our Instagram page where we'll be posting stories and also the day-by-day -day videos. Now on day two, the actual races start. And at the end of the day, we are treated with a concert from Kings of Chaos with a special guest and on day three we're welcome with part two okay right day three part two of the races along with 10 minutes of Acura NSX hot laps which you can probably tell by the title Acura's NSX doing laps and then 15 minutes of mother's exotic car parade exotic cars for 15 minutes Did you come up with that on your own this is the current map that's available on their website and if we had to guess we're probably around here inside the exhibit hall. We just got an update as I was editing this. We are located right by the entrance, right there. Cool, cool. Now, if you're interested in attending this event, then you can check out their prices on their website. They have a variety of options for reserved seats, general admission, single day, three day, super photo, along with parking and VIP areas. Just a little heads up though, is that Sunday tickets are more expensive than Saturday tickets, probably because it's the last day and the drivers are giving it their all to win the race. Imagine they're running a marathon. She saw me on TV running. Where their vehicle needs to perform for multiple days. They wouldn't start sprinting on day one. And the worst decision I ever made was sprinting. And not be able to sprint the next day. No, what they would do is jog along. Till then, just breathe slow and steady. The first few races get familiar with the road, turns, and then on the last day, bam, full throttle, no stops. Plus, any repairs that can be done after the race event, they'll do it then. If you want to question my morals, do it later. But to scramble for parts during? Good luck. But then, why is a phone slash tablet mount company going to a Grand Prix? Why is that? I like to think it's because I'm a lone wolf. Well, it's a market we haven't put ourselves in before. And just like the racers, we're performing our practice laps, getting to know a new market of consumers so we can make adjustments to bring forth a better product. Opportunity for uh, improving the foundations. Of course, it makes us uncomfortable and puts our brand out there, but it also helps us so we can learn and grow. We can't stay in a little off-road bubble forever. We welcome the adventure that brings a new light to our company and we hope you can join us on that journey. So come find us for yourself and see why the off-road community loves our mounts and why we continue to have an explosive growth as a simple and durable phone mount company. Subscribe to stay up to date for the day-by-day -day videos for that event and we'll see you in the next video.